Hello, my fellow soul gardeners. I'm here with some exciting news. Since Saturn is in Libra and our lives are about to change, I'm going to offer my 90-minute reading for the price of one hour to everyone in Soul Garden. It doesn't have to be your birthday. This is an excellent opportunity to get a big assessment on your life. And I must warn you, this is the last time this month that I'm offering this special. In fact, when the sun moves into Scorpio, I'm raising soul capital. I'm raising the prices. So if you've always wanted a reading or you're waiting for your birthday, don't. Come on down to LiveLoveB.TV. There's a video that explains what's involved in a reading. Purchase one hour, and we'll turn around and book you 90 minutes. Hope to see you there. Hello, Ram, and welcome now to Tuesday. Well, introverted, sunny, but I think feeling strong today for the sheep. The moon is in Pisces, so again, emotional focus is on your inner spiritual. This is your faith in yourself. This is, of course, uh, your connection to the weeds in your soul garden, so you might be facing some weeds today, but I say you are strong. I say you are ready to face those weeds, and I say that because of the sun. We're in chapter three of Sun in Libra. Today, Saturn is ruling the day. This is the strength we've been looking for. Saturn really cuts to the quick. That's what Saturn does. It helps us make decisions, and decisions lead to those who are in control, right? They always say a leader has to be a good decision maker. That's because the two go hand in hand, and Saturn gives us that vibration to make these important decisions. And in the air I case, this is a decision about where marriage will go or not go. So I think in the next 24 hours, the Aries will be making decisions about how they want their marriages and partnerships to in fact go. And this is go time. We're at the end of this chapter. Now that doesn't mean it's going to work entirely. That's because Saturn in this space will be here until 2012. This is the best decision you can make right now. This is the best decision you can make knowing what you know. So you're not going to be 100% certain. That's due to Saturn. Now Saturn, on the other hand, is now entering chapter two of Saturn in Libra. And what that does mean is it is time to step away from what's not working, that's certain, and begin constructing what could work. So again, you're going to be stuck in this marriage transit, like I said, until 2012. You have to make a decision now. It's time to start to make some building now. It's now time to try some things. And you've got 24 hours to make your decision. Also, it's Tuesday. We've got a new episode of Just Ask Gus, starring Lauren Serafan and Angelo Eros. They're answering your questions on camera in a sexy and fun way. They are live everywhere, Soul Garden Blooms. And for those of you who have an Aries rising, I just want to point out one more time how this works. If you have an Aries rising, everything I said applies to you, but it's probably happening very much externally, so it's happening outside of yourself, not just in your head, and it's also affecting a long lifetime of changes. It's your multi-lifetime story. So rewatch this horoscope for Aries risings and see that your multi-lifetime long-term story is in fact making some changes. For those of you who are just Aries, it is happening really more in the present. It may affect you 30 days or longer. Now, I know we're talking about the next two years or year and a half for marriages. That's true in both cases, you'll be making long-term changes in your life for the next year and a half. You'll be making short-term changes that will still have you grappling with what marriage is for the next year and a half. No matter how you are, you'll be grappling with marriage for the next year and a half. Okay, I'm clear now. All right, Ram, that's all I have for today. Make your decisions because tomorrow it's time to act. All that and more in 24. Live, love, be. So